Hey, good morning, guys. It's early Wednesday morning, and I'm sitting on my back porch enjoying the cool weather. Let's talk Wednesday mornings for a minute. So Wednesday morning tends to be the morning each week when I lose momentum. It's when I lose my battle with the snooze button. Um, I don't know if it's because I go hard for a couple days, Monday, Tuesday, coming off usually what's a pretty lengthy and hard weekend that I feel like I've earned the right to, to snooze or, or what it is. But, you know, last night when I went to bed or before I went to bed, I told my wife, I said to her, you know, if you wake up in the morning to go to the gym and you can't find me, it's because I'm on the back porch doing my workout. But it's all gonna depend on how I feel. And then I thought to myself, that's bullshit. It all depends on how I feel is the language of losers, right? It's the language of stalled momentum. You know, it doesn't matter how we feel. As story athletes, we show up and we do what we've committed to doing. And see, that's my that's been my MO. You know, today's principle is I achieve 37 times growth or experience 37 times growth. And I'll be completely honest with you, I have a habit of going really hard for a couple days or a week or a couple weeks and then slacking off and going hard and then slacking off. And the fact of the matter is, you cannot sustain the 1% momentum that is necessary to achieve 37% growth if you're constantly putting your foot on the gas, or putting, putting your foot on the brake. You gotta keep your foot on the gas pedal at all times. Now you don't have to be going 100 miles an hour, but you gotta be moving forward. And so that's what this morning is all about. I got up, I didn't hit the snooze button, I honored my commitment, I'm out here to do my workout, and by 6.15 I'll have that posted and I'll feel much better about the way I've started my day. So let's get it. All right, team, that's a wrap on day 13. So I mentioned last week that this is not my favorite workout, the resistance bands, uh, but it's exactly what I need on a Wednesday, particularly coming off that kettlebell workout on Saturday and then the sandbags on Monday and the run on Tuesday. It's just what the doctor ordered. And I'm continually surprised at how much of a sweat I can work up just with these resistance bands. It just goes to show you that it's not what you're doing, it's how you're doing it. Mix in a little intensity and everything is pretty tough. So today, time was 2621. I have no idea what I got last week. Uh, to me, this workout is more about uh, form and range of motion than it is on time. But I'll go back and compare those to see if I got any better this week. And then on my burpee finisher, I finished in two minutes and 55 seconds, which is 25 seconds faster than I did it uh, on Monday and did it on last Thursday and what the difference was today Was that I didn't allow myself to take any breaks Today's mantra was so what My uh, my body tends to get Pretty tensed up around rep 17 every time I do burpees It's like at 17 my mind wants to quit That's when my governor kicks in and then at 25 my quads really start to burn But today I just told myself I'm not, I'm not stopping I'm not gonna allow myself to stop. And so that difference of 25 seconds is what I normally would take to rest in between sets. Um, so again, just goes to show you, intensity is the magic elixir. So we're done for the day. I hope you're having a good one. Go get it Wednesday. Talk to you soon.